Elias here. Hello. Hi. I Great called you on a day off. You did. I've I'm been... very excited. Uh, <laughs> but I thought, uh-oh, what's going on? I've been calling Julia in my um, spare time. Reason being because not only did I buy an air fryer, I bought one of these. That's right. What an easy bread. How exciting. I, I, do you know what? And uh, when I told my wife about it, because we'd done a couple of shows together, and she's mm. been talking about making our own bread. Right. And she's been talking about it for a while. Yes. However, the chance of us actually doing it... <laughs> <laughs> and it actually turning out perfectly every time? It was a long shot. Yep. So this is what we got. 103060. We have not looked back. I love I've had it for a week and a half and man, I love this machine. 159 bucks, which I don't think you're going to find it anywhere for that. No, well, first of all, this is the only product like it in the world. So before Are we just touch on the price, this is the first and only capsule bread machine in the world. It's in the world. In the world. It's called Easy Bread, and as you said, it will turn um, a capsule into bread all on its own because it does the whole system, and we'll explain that in a minute. Um, and it's the only one in the world, and TVSN are the only people in Australia that have access to it. So I'm going to say a couple awesome. of things. Can I start? This this is just for me personally, yes. for someone who has it. First thing, it looks great on the bench. And my wife said it. She it does. Looks great on the bench. It doesn't take up too much space. It's relatively thin. Mm -hmm. Second thing, it's nice and quiet. And Very. third thing, this is it. And this is the reason I got it, is that it is so simple, it's embarrassing. It's so... Can you push yeah. a button? You can make bread. That's it. And bread is traditionally something that's harder to make. And we're all familiar okay. with uh, coffee machines now, with the pod coffee machines. Yeah. And yes, it is tricky to make a really good quality cafe-style coffee at home, mm -hmm. but it's fairly easy to make just a, a normal sort of coffee, you know, an instant coffee or something like that. But with bread, you really need to have the right recipe, the right yeah. ingredients. You really need to spend the time to knead it, to let it rise, to cook it. It is a whole process. It's not just a, a five, ten minute job to make bread, but this allows, with just three easy steps, for you to create beautiful, simple bread. And you can you can get a bit creative as well with this machine. And as you said, just three steps and the push of a button. Honestly, this is how it works. <laughs> I mean, you really don't need to write this down. You fill in at the water tank at the back. So you fill the water tank. There's a line on it. You've got to make sure you've got over that that line in the back of the water tank. You insert the bread capsule. You close the lid and you press start. Now, I know that took a long time to explain how to work this machine. <laughs> well, I can show you in probably a couple of seconds. It, it is phenomenally easy. But can I say, I mean, I love it, and you're about to demonstrate it, but the reason I bought it was because of the taste of the bread. Mm. And if the bread isn't absolutely out of this world, I'm not going to do it. I'll yep. go down the shops and buy it. Because the capsules themselves, they work out to be... Um, you get a free capsule? one with it. Yep. That's a capsule. Um, when you get like the white ones from TVSN, you buy a, mm -hmm. a pack of five. They work out to be four bucks each. Yeah, that's, that's right. really good. Yeah, that is really good. So this is your artisan style gourmet yeah. bread, which is what the, is the sort of bread you're going to make at home. You're never going to make a stock standard bread at home purely because it's homemade bread. It's got that gourmet artisan yeah. feel to it. That you know, really crusty on the outside and soft on the middle. That's the sort of bread you're going to get. The sort that you would buy from the bakery. Oh, it makes you feel a little bit special and brings that really warm, family loving home atmosphere into your home. Now, before we show you how to do it, one more really quick thing. What are the types of bread you do again? Okay, so we, if you want to go along, so I can. Explain it. We've yeah. got the Country Love, which is our oh, multi-grain, yeah. um, which is beautiful. Then we have our Alpino, our classic sourdough, <sighs> really great oh, for digestion, yeah, and well, that beautiful aromatic um, fragrance as well. Uh, here on, we have our classic white, which is yeah. our puro. We use that for the kids' lunches quite That's often. That's it. When Beautiful, we run perfect out. Yeah. everyday loaf. Yeah. We have our crustino, which is like our wholemeal, which is a browner bread. Down the front, we have our Mediterranean, which is our the classic white with olive yeah. oil in it. Yeah, Gorgeous. it's delish. Yeah. And this one, I got a little bit creative. So this one is banana with Ooh, raisins did and you... cinnamon. Yeah. So I can explain how you do that. It's really simple. As you go through the process, you just add them in. We've um, just had questions coming in already yes, about awesome. gluten-free. Yes. Okay, what's the deal? <laughs> well, I, I love gluten-free as well. Yeah, um, they do exist. They're on their way into the country. So as soon as we get them at TVSN, we will let you know. There's a whole range of gluten-free as well. Yeah. So once you have the bread machine, if you are gluten-free, you can continue to buy a whole range of gluten-free. And I don't want to steal your thunder, but I've got to say this. From woe to go, two hours. Yeah. That's it. Two hours, start to finish, and you can program it. I don't want to steal your thunder. You, you keep it. No, well, two but hours, but you only have to spend about five seconds of that two hours seconds. actually doing any work. So okay. here's, here's the situation. 
as you mentioned, there is a water container at the back. You just pull right. that out. There is a line that says 400 mils. You just fill it up to that line. I use um, lukewarm water. just helps to activate the yeast so yep. that you're going to get a fluffier and loaf. just tap water, hey? Just tap water. That's fine. Just make it a little bit uh, warm. This is the section at the top, which we open up. It has a removable cutter in there so that just stays in there like that and what you do is you grab your capsule pop it in the top upside down you don't have to open it up and when you close the lid it will open up the uh, capsule ready to go and that's it then you press that's the button it. you can see here it's preset to two hours and ten minutes all you need to do then is press your start button and you're done so three steps and you can choose with this button here can't you yeah. whether you want your uh, toast to be uh, light, light, medium, medium or, or well. dark. What do you do? Yeah. So it depends what sort of bread. If I'm doing right. a white bread, I usually leave it at the lightest setting. Um, if I'm doing a raisin bread, I like to do it about medium. If I'm doing a really crusty sourdough, I'll do it on the three. Yeah, right. Yeah. By the way, I know some of you think, when do I put the yeast in? When, when, when do I put the... You don't do anything. You don't do no. nothing. This, you, you close it and you press, you know, do you want light, medium or dark? That's it and press start. That's all you do. And it will beep in two hours time. You come back, you open it up, you've got the freshest, most beautiful bread. And I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true because, can I, what, what's the nicest one here? Do you oh, think? let's try some. Well, let me pop some in the toaster and you can get going. What do you like? What do you want to try? A brown one and a white one or a... I love, look, the can I be honest? That one that we, I do this fresh for mm. myself and at night time, I'll cook it so it just comes out and I'll toast a bit, bit of Vegemite on it. Sourdough. Oh, Ooh, yes. Yeah. And you can grab, I've got some jam at the front as well. Yeah, let's so do obviously that, do I'm, like. a, I'm a toast I'll pop pan. them in. Do you want me to show you the capsules? Oh, yeah, show the I capsules. AJ I'll show one day this. opened it up. And, okay. Uh, We've got a great add-on offer with this. We'll show so you So here's what's inside, uh, literally just your wheat, your yeast and your salt. Right. So that's all there is. And it's all there ready to go in the perfect proportions. As you close the lid, it adds it in the right amount. It adds the water when it's time for the water in the right amount. And then it mixes it. It kneads it. It lets it rest. And then it cooks it. And then it's done. So you literally do Everything. not have to open it up. You don't have to add anything. You don't have to do anything. Egg free, dairy free, nothing. You just pop Because everybody wants to make their own bread. But let's be honest, how many of us are actually going to do it? Or you might do it for a yeah. few weeks and you go, ah, oh, stuff it, it's yeah. too much work. Absolutely. But this, you'll do. And you think, well, okay, but I've got, to, I've got to buy the pods. But the pods, well, okay, here's an add-on offer. Let me talk about this. We've, you will get one multigrain with this. But do I have, oh, yeah, over, over, next to Julia, over here. Now, if you want to get this pack just to kick you off, come on over. What so that's actually all Puro we've got there, but oh, there is we? the selection pack. So in the selection pack, you do get one of each. Oh, you do? Yes. Yes. All right, okay. So, and that's our purchase with purchase? All right. Beautiful. Let me, gi let me give you the details on it. Let's have a look. Here's a picky. Okay, the Puro Pack. This is the one I mentioned. Okay, not a purchase with purchase. This is a different pack, okay? So, forgive me. But the add-on offer, um, you'll see online or the operators will tell you about it. Here it is. There we go. It's a selection pack. What do you get in there? Yeah, so you get the Alpino, which is your sourdough. You get your Puro, which is your classic white. Your Crustino, which is your wholemeal. And I think your Country Love, which is your whole grain. You can actually see the grains, taste the grains as you normally would. Yeah. And you normally get a multi... Oh, no, you do. You get a multi-grain with the pack as well, because I get a multi-grain. Yes, so you get a you free do. one when you purchase the yep. bread to get started, but I would recommend getting that selection pack. Then you could work out which one you actually like the most, or yeah. different people in the family might like different things. But here's the thing. If you want to get the f five white bread pack, which I'll get to, uh, $19.50, 103107. Important stuff, because these are questions I had, first of all. How yes. long do the pods last, if you keep them in the cupboard? Okay, so the pods have a shelf, uh, shelf life of about eight months, and that's purely because that? keeping the yeast active. Okay, yep. cool. And I had another... Oh, yeah, because these are from Europe, aren't they? Yeah, so all the ingredients are non-genetically modified. They're all from Austria and Germany. They Seriously, I've met the guys at the head office and they are of the strictest quality control. Yeah. They pick the grains specifically, they wash them, clean them, grind them, everything so that they're really, really perfect. Yeah. And that's everything in there. And the machines themselves are Austrian designed, so you're getting really high quality and, uh, and perfection. You do the toast and I'll just mention this just quickly. This will be the size of your cob of bread. By the way, you're wondering how big it is. It's around about... Oh, I'll put this back together. 
That's the size of your loaf. So that's your classic white loaf here. So your normal big size are, are, are a little bit bigger than this. But this is an artisan loaf. I got three kids, and that'll do, you know, a sandwich each in the morning if I've mm -hmm. forgotten to get bread the night mm -hmm. before. And it'll leave a bit extra for me for toast and everything. But the difference between having the artisan loaf and the quality of it, and freshly mm. baked. I've bought some blooming loaves of bread from the supermarket, and I've got it home, and it's been off. Exactly. Goes mouldy really day quickly, later. Yeah. stale, or a little bit soggy. Yep, definitely. Yeah. And that's what I love about this. You can literally make it. Yesterday, I made ten loaves of bread. Yeah, for as the you show did. here. So, uh, as I do, you know, when I wasn't even <laughs> home. Amazing. So I literally put them on, pressed, start, went out, did some work, came home. Swapped the machines over, so the, the machines will actually leave your bread uh, warm for about 20 to 30 minutes as well, which I love. Mm -hmm. So then I can come home. And how would you go? Were you at home when it was finished? The smell? Oh, mate. I, I wait by oh, it. Oh, my God. The smell is amazing. Because bread can either be from heaven or it can be from the other place because it's just... <laughs> don't you think? Because yeah. fresh bread is like nothing else. Exactly. But stale bread, you can't even eat it. No, it has no, no love and warmth in yeah. a stale, it's, a stale it's, boring It's a love of it. It's, it's doing it yourself, kind of. You're pressing a button. But we've got under 50 of these left. 159 bucks. Look, for my money, I think that's a steal mm -hmm. for a bread maker. Absolutely. Absolute steal. Absolutely. And you don't have to do all the work as well. There's no pre-prep and there's no, there's no other ingredients you need to buy in that sense. Once you've got the capsules, you're done. That's a purchase with purchase, so it's the mixture, OK? Gluten-free bread is on its way from the company and we will see that soon on TVSM. Yes. We have got all the different breads on our website. Pick them up whenever you want. Restock. Remember, they've got a shelf life of eight months. Eight months, and it's so nice. My wife did a lovely meal the other night and then just made a loaf of bread with mm, it as well. Absolutely. The Mediterranean bread. As you're getting your dinner ready, you can pop this on. If you've oh, got guests yeah. coming over, you can get it ready. Of course, the house will smell beautiful. You'll have fresh, crusty bread for them. As you said, if you forget your bread, you know, the night before, that classic question, you know, what do you need from... Yeah. What do you need on the way home? You know, pick up a loaf of bread. If you've forgotten it, this is a great emergency bread as well because you can you can do the timer. We didn't talk about the timer. Oh, my gosh! So the timer is my favourite function. Go, do the timer. Which is what really helps me. So um, what we can do with this is we do the whole process except we press we don't press the start button just no. yet. And we can use these up and down buttons here. I'll start with the up. And we can add it. So if you go to bed at 10 p.m. and you want to have fresh bread at 6 a.m., you go, well, that's eight hours away. Okay, so you set eight hours, then you press start. And what will happen is it'll straight away start counting down. 7.59, 7.58. When there's two hours and ten minutes left, you're asleep, you're dreaming of fairies, mm. and this machine kicks into gear, starts to add the ingredients, knead, all the rest of it. When you wake up, your bread is it's hot, it is fresh, it smells delicious, and that's and it's another ready thing. One of the best things, the smell mm. of fresh bread is incredible. Question just came in. Yes. Oh, okay. Somebody's asking about your mm. bread here. Now, how do I do raisin bread, banana bread, so forth? Absolutely. Okay, so I've done olive bread, uh, sun-dried tomato bread. You can you can use your imagination oh, with this. I'm going to try some of that. Oh, it's so good. Oh, my gosh. Okay, keep talking, keep okay, talking. So, how do you do it? So, just before you press start, there are two ways you can do this. One is you open it up. I'll mm -hmm. use this one here. And this is the baking dish. Just add your ingredients in there. Just be cautious of how much. There's no, there's no recipes for this. I use about a handful. So for that, I used two bananas chopped up into pieces and dry, a handful sorry, dry of banana or just normal oh, you banana. You can use either, but I use normal banana. Yeah. Yep. You chop can it up, use, throw it in the bottom. You know, a fruit mix, things like that, dried fruit mix. Once you pop it back in, you close up the lid, oh, you awesome. press start. Now, if you've forgotten to do that or you want to add some more ingredients in, you can press pause, which is the start pause button, again, within the first 15 minutes of cooking, OK? So you can press pause, open it up, add your ingredients. You'll see that the bread's within already the in there before. kneading. Do it all before. And then just, just close it up, press start again. If you've forgotten it, you can. But don't open it up after the 15 no. minutes. But within the first few minutes, add what you like. So if I was... So rule of thumb, if I was doing a loaf of bread, mm -hmm. um, then how much... What, one banana, do you think? Two bananas? I did two bananas. You did two. I liked it. Has that got nice banana flavour? Obviously, beautiful. it's got the raisins in and there And raisins too. and banana. Yeah, absolutely. So if you use mushy banana, it'll go all the way through. If you use good chunks of you'll pieces... You'll get chunks of it. You'll get the chunks of it. Apple is delicious as well. Sun-dried tomato, Come olives, on. herbs, Making garlic. Making your own bread. Yeah. You feel like a real parent. <laughs> <That's so laughs> Why do I feel like a real parent? Because I'm making my like bread for my kids. I feel like I can really cook for my kids. I feel like a farmer. <laughs> it's well, that, that's but it. Do you know what? 
Yeah. This has been an absolute delight for us. And you might say, do we use it a lot? I'd say we'd probably every second day. Yeah. We'd make a loaf. Yeah. Now, I love just having it there. I love the fact that I can buy these pods and they're going to cost me. Uh, the white ones are four bucks each. Yep. Other ones are different prices, but they never go above five or six bucks. Yeah, you know, no, they're, they're really about affordable. five or six bucks, as you would in a bakery. And yeah. I'd get a whole hot, a whole lot, keep them in the cupboard. Yeah. And then you're just ready, you're ready for them. Even if you got it just to buy the, just, sorry, just to make the the raisin bread or, mm -hmm. the, or the banana loaf and Your all that. Style Even if you just do fancy. it to do the olive stuff. For me, I love having um, beautiful, beautiful artisan toast before I go to bed. Cup of Tea or well, coffee. Before you go to bed. Yeah, I do. I like toast at night. Well, Don't you do that? Such an old granny fair. thing. <laughs> <laughs> a tea and a coffee. No, it a is. A tea and toast before bed. It, it's my comfort time. Uh -huh. Oh, it's so sad, uh -huh. isn't it? Never mind. That's cute. Add on offer again, everyone, on this baby. Don't miss out. $159. I know, and there's nothing else like this in the world. Nothing like it in the world. You cannot find it anywhere else. And in there Australia, this is the only place you're going to buy it. Yeah, yeah. You want fresh bread, you want it made by yourself. Artisan bread is the way to do it. Uh, the purchase with purchase. So if you'd normally get these five on their own, uh, it'd be 30 bucks. So they'd work out to be $6 each. But if you get this pack as a purchase with purchase, you it'll work out to be five bucks each. So it is a wee bit cheaper, so that's good. You will get a multi-grain with this. Oh, but if you get the purchase with purchase... You add the P and H together from both of them and chop it in half. Mm -hmm. So it's cheaper P and H. Just a thought. If you want to get the puro, which is the white, and it's a beautiful white, um, nineteen fifty. So they are uh, what five? Yeah, they're four bucks each. Yes. It's really, really good. What else can I try? So would you could like? Could you make a garlic bread? Yeah, you could. I was just thinking that. I made herb and it was delicious. How did you do it? So just literally threw a whole heap of mixed dry herbs Shop in there. In the, in the bottom of that, when mm -hmm. it's empty, mm -hmm. throw when it in. When it's empty and pop it in. Yep. And then open it up. So garlic, could I throw some like minced garlic? Yeah, I would. I would definitely, and some parsley maybe or something like that. If you like the olives, um, pop it in. You're my done. background is Greek Cypriot, so I grew up every time I went to my grandmother's house and there was olive bread, halloumi bread. I don't know if what? anyone in this country has ever I've tried never heard of it. you guys. Oh my God, it's the best thing ever. Hey, could you do it? Oh, of course you could do it. So what would I do? So just chop up big chunks of halloumi, I would. Would I cook it? The yeah. halloumi? Would no, no, I fry no, it first, don't cook no? it first. I'd put it in after, like in the first five, ten minutes. Yeah. So that it doesn't um, melt at the bottom at all. No, though it wouldn't because it hasn't started cooking yet. Yeah. Put that in and let it mix in and you should get chunks of it and it will sort of also melt as well. So it'll be like your sort of cheesy bread. Yeah. Halloumi. Bit what of mince. Some dried oh. tomatoes and stuff. You yeah, go some to dried town. tomatoes. Yeah, absolutely. So you can either make your own, use the fresh stuff, or when you go to your deli mm. and you buy your sun dried tomatoes or your olive mix or your antipasto mix, oh. you can add them in. We are flat. Flashing Limited in stock at you right now. If you'd like to try this yourself, you've got a money-back guarantee. Don't forget, not from when you get it, but from the 25th of December. We do that just in case you want to buy this as a Christmas gift for somebody. And um, so if you give it to, you know, you can get it now, but if you give it to them on Christmas Day, they've got a 30-day money-back guarantee from Christmas Day. Day. So rest assured, relax, no problems. Talk to the operators about it if you've got any other questions. Um, but you do get a multigrain with this, and if you want to get the purchase with purchase, the five pack, you can do that too. But we have got uh, all the different flavours. Do flavors. you want to clean? Yeah, I'll clean up. Oh, can I say another do want, thing? Do you want me to show you how to clean? Oh, I thought you wanted me to clean up. I was like... OK, no worries. Cleaning this up. No, no, no. Yes. No. Clean this up is an absolute breeze, by the way. There's your little stir you take off. Um, to get them out, you tip it upside down, it just drops out. Because it'll keep it warm for half an hour. That's exactly right, yep. Drop it out onto a little tray. Oh, can you go dishwasher? Look, you can, but that just What's, needs a wipe no out point. with paper. It's non-stick. Yeah, so it's just either rinse it and wipe it out with paper. That's all it needs. Yeah, and the insides here, you just dust off the little bit of flour. That's it. So you get your dusting uh, utensil yeah. and your little hook here in case yeah. you need to take out the, the, the um, stirrer. And because there's nothing wet up the top here, because there's no water up here, yeah. it's just a bit of flour, you dust it off, Open up the inside, wash that, dust out the inside. It's just flour that would have been thrown around during the process. 30 seconds. Yep. I kid you not, 30 seconds. Give it a go. You're going to love this thing to bits. And when people come around, you go, oh, I just made some bread. Yeah. Hide the machine. <laughs> See, you did it yourself. Hey, um, thanks. Good to Thank see you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us too.